Hi guys, um, this video is all about anxiety, um, because I've had some really positive feedback, people um, saying um, how well I like help people that suffer and stuff like this just by doing videos, and it really, that's my, that's my main aim guys, is to help you guys. If I have no tips on helping people with anxiety, then I wouldn't be doing this video, but I can share my experience still from suffering. I suffer from health anxiety and derealisation and having two combined it is really, really, really hard to cope with on a day to day basis. That doesn't mean it's impossible. It is possible. You just gotta find the right strategies to calm your anxiety down or totally get rid of it for good. Okay? Now there is methods out there. There's loads of people on YouTube saying they've got this and that and that and that and that or they think they might have this and that and that and that. Some people just overreact a bit thinking oh I think I've got the same as her some people generally do have anxiety and um, coping with it can be very very tough because the best way I can explain anxiety describe anxiety is that it's very um, it's very disabling because your brain is so powerful with all the chemicals going on and you know obviously it's powerful it comes up with all the like, answers responses to what people say and everything so yeah but with anxiety it takes over sometimes because your functioning is not so great because you're so focused, you're wrapped up in yourself, you're wrapped up in your own thoughts and you're trying to get rid of these thoughts, you're trying to fight away these thoughts but the more you fight sometimes the more they come back and that's the horrible bit about anxiety. Um, lots of people don't know where to turn to get help. The best way of helping seriously is just to take like natural herb remedies just to ease your anxiety a little bit, is to really try to blank your head which can seem impossible <laughs> for anyone really um, because most people are negative more than positive but when you're building up all this negativity in your brain then you're more likely to suffer from anxiety because you can't figure one positive there um, everything's just negative all the time um, everyone gets anxiety though anxiety is basically a form of like nervousness um, because it's just like I'd say nervousness is on the scale of 1 to 10, anxiety is 11, so it's off the scale, it's higher, so it's more scarier to cope with it, because um, you don't just get a little bit sick, you get the heart racing, the palpitations and everything, and when you're more aware of your body, you get more scared, like you've got to get an ambulance or something to check you over. That's how frightening it can feel, because a lot of people have said, um, it's, it seems like I'm having a heart attack when I have a panic attack. And I completely agree, by, I've gone through them myself, panic attacks, and I've had to rush outside thinking that I was having a heart attack and I had to call an ambulance. Um, they checked me over and said I was absolutely fine, and I thought, how the hell can I have a heart attack at the age of not 18? It's too young, you know, but things like that can happen. But if you keep thinking negative, if you keep reading like bad stories on people um, and stuff like that, it, yeah it is it can really scare you um, now everyone has to have anxiety because it's the part of how we respond as human beings and it's a survival mechanism okay so if we were in real danger we'll get the fast heart rate and we'd run from that scene with anxiety it's the same sort of thing you can be in a shop feeling all anxious and you might have to just run out to get some fresh air because you feel like you've escaped that horrible situation that you don't want to no longer be in okay but going on to avoidance now there's a lot of people avoid things that they're anxious of like oh well, they can't go there because it's full of spiders and they can't go to that supermarket because it's too much too many people it stresses the hell out of me you know there's all these different things that scare people um, but everyone's affected by anxiety differently you might get really extreme levels of anxiety um, you might get sort of like mild anxiety but anxiety can make us feel really low, low and depressed and feeling that way is just really horrible so you just want to be happy and positive like everyone else don't you but you feel like you can't be I have to stop there I'm afraid guys because I've got people coming around but I'll make another video probably Monday night or Tuesday take care for now if you want any help let me know and hopefully I can get back to you before Monday um, and please subscribe or add me as a friend. I hope I managed to help people and explain it better.